InDesign text variables are like special placeholders in your document. You can put them anywhere. They will automatically update with new information. Let's learn text variables. There are 8 types of text variables available in InDesign. Let's look at each of them. Number 1. Chapter Number It numbers chapters or sections within your document. Number 2. Creation Date It displays the date the document was created. Number 3. File Name It inserts the name of the current InDesign file. Number 4. Image Name It displays file name of an image placed in your document. This helps us to identify images and their sources. Number 5. Last Page Number It displays the page number of the last page in your document. So as you add more pages, the page number will grow as well. Number 6. Modification Date It shows the last date the document was modified. Number 7. Output Date It shows the date the document was last exported or printed. The best part is that it keeps a track of different versions of your document by including the output date. Number 8. Running header. It automatically generates chapter titles or section headings for your document. Why to use text variables? Text variables are incredibly useful for designers. Especially when working on large, complex documents or projects with many iterations. This makes documents more flexible and easier to update. How to use text variables? First, you need to draw a text frame on the page. Take the text tool from left toolbar. Shortcut key is T. I'm going to draw a small rectangle text frame like this. Double click inside the text frame. Go to type. Text variables. Select any variable from this list that you want. Let's say creation date. You can even edit the text variable. To do that, go to type. Text variables. And choose define. Select the variable that you want to edit. Let's say creation date. And then click edit. You can modify the variable's name, type, options, and any additional text that you want to include in your document. You can also manage the date format. Whether you want the DDMMYYYY format or MMDDYY format. Let's keep it DD space MMMM space YYYY. Click OK. Click Done. Now, if you ever change your mind, you can always go back to text variable and then define and then edit. Just tweak the settings and you are good to go. Let's add the document name in the middle of the page. Double click on the text frame, then open text variable dialog box. Choose file name. Click edit. In text before, you are free to write whatever you want before the file name. It could be bullet, copyright symbol, ellipse, paragraph symbol, register trademark or anything that suits your requirements. If you want anything to appear after the file name, then go for text after. From here, you can choose any of these variables that you want them to appear after the file name. Click OK and click Done. Let's add a running header. Keep in mind, you can insert running header on the page, but it won't repeat on every page. Running headers should always be placed at the top or bottom of the page, provided that they are repeating on every page. For that, you should consider using master page. If you don't know what master page is, then you should check out my master page tutorial. Link is in the card on top of this video and in the description below. Let's open a master page. If you don't know how to open that, simply go to window and choose pages. Shortcut key is F12. At the top of the panel, double click on a master page. Let's create a text frame on top of the margins. Double click on the text frame, then go to type. Text variables. Choose running header. Running header will show up like this in the master page. Let me adjust it for the best fit. If you want to edit the variable, double click on the text frame, then go to type. Text variables. And choose define. Choose running header. You can edit it if necessary. Click OK and then click Done. Let's go back to the main pages. Apply a master page on the main page. See, now we have running header on the main page. Now, if you keep creating new pages, the running header will repeat on every page. If you want all the text variables to repeat on every page, make sure that you compose them on master page rather than the main page. Let's add the image name. 
create a text frame below the image. Double click on the text frame, go to type, text variables, insert variable and choose image name. Now, InDesign is showing no intersection link on the text frame. However, if you move the text frame on top of the image, InDesign will show the image name automatically. If you move it away from the image, no image name will be shown. So, make sure that it is on top of the image. The output date and modification date are usually not necessary variables. However, if you want, you can repeat the same steps to insert them in the document. The modification date will show up along with the time. Let me apply respective paragraph styles on each of these variables. Creation date, file name and modification date. Custom text variable. Now, this is not available in the drop down menu. However, you can find it here in define panel. You need to click on new. In this new text variable panel, open the type drop down menu. Then you will be able to locate custom text. From here, you can create your own text variables to insert a specific text or information that is required to update on daily basis. For example, creating a variable for the current date, client's name or a project title. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javadsumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javadsumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javadsumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.